welcome back everybody. I would like to give you just a really short tutorial on adding a Google web font to a code pen and this could be applied to any kind of HTML document if you want. But we're going to apply it to a code pen because it has its own little trick. All right, so first of all, I'm going to look for a font I like on fonts.google.com. Okay? And I've already picked one out, Montserrat. Now, before I go ahead and select it, I wanted to show you what you can do. You click a font and you can scroll down. You can see what it looks like, the different things you can use to style it. And you can scroll down a little bit further and what they have here is what's called font pairings. And so I can see how it looks with different fonts and I can switch the order between the header and the paragraphs. And so I can see different um, combinations of the font. Now I really like the railway, what they did here. I like this particular font pairing. So this is what I want to apply. Now, before I can apply it, I need to add the fonts. Right away, right away you can see Railway is there and there's a plus sign. So I click it, that adds Railway. And then I'm gonna scroll up until I see the Montserrat. And there it says, select this font. Okay, and down here it already says two families selected. So if I click this, it pops up. And we're gonna embed both fonts using this link tag. Now, the link tag needs to go into the head of an HTML document, it says right there, but I already know that. So I'm gonna copy this code, and anything that would go into the head of a document, you're gonna to have to put in, you're gonna to have to set it by clicking on your code pen, open HTML settings, and you're gonna add this to the stuff for your head. You're gonna just paste it in. And then I'm gonna click save and close. So what that does is now I have a connection to that Google uh, web font, but what I wanna do is I wanna apply the Montserrat for all of my content, and I wanna apply the railway for my headers. So what I'm gonna do is go ahead and type out body, which is the tag. This allows me to select everything. And what I want is I wanna get that first font that I mentioned, the Montserrat. So I, if you scroll down here, you're gonna see this specify in CSS. So all I have to do is go over here, copy that code. I go into my code pen, and where it says body, I'm gonna right click and I'm gonna paste. And so that changes all of my content. So whether it's a header or a paragraph, it gives it that font. Now I wanna change the headers. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select uh, my main headers. I'm gonna type H1, comma, H2, comma, H3. I'll even do H4 for good measure. If I do more than an H4, I probably overcoded my headers. So I usually just do H1 through H3, but I'll do H4 for good measure. And so what I do here is I go back and now I wanna apply railway. So I just copy that there, right click copy. And I go in my code pen and I paste. Take a look. So do you see that header just changed right there? The header two, all right? Um, and there you go, it's pretty simple. You just gotta choose your fonts, get your link tag, put it in the head, specify your CSS where you want it to go. And there you have it. Before I go, for those of you that are wondering, what's up with this font family where we have Montserrat and then a comma and then sans serif? And then a comma, railway, comma, sans serif. Sans serif is basically the default font. And any system, if you see sans serif, it'll pick whatever their default is for sans serif. So you see when I delete the part that says Montserrat, it changes. But what you'll notice is it's a sans serif font. In other words, it doesn't have all the little tiny decorations. Um, let me show you the difference between sans serif and serif. As soon as I delete the sand and the dash, you'll see now that's what a serif font looks like. And you'll see if you look at it closely, um, you can see that the font looks a little different. So I'm gonna undo and undo, get us back to where we were. And there you have it. All right, thanks for watching.